While Summer Ranking, or Ranking of Kings, aired in 2021 and 22, and featured a young prince named Boji happily gallivanting through life without seemingly a care in the world before meeting Kage, a remnant of the now destroyed Shadow Clan. Kage saw a naive, stupid boy he could threaten or merely trick into bringing him fine palace clothing in order to sell and make some money. Only after becoming intrigued one day and deciding to follow the half of the nip prince back home did he start to understand the life of the young boy he had become involved with, and that itself led to one of the greatest partnerships in all of anime and to me, one of the greatest anime of all time. This is Sinless, the shockingly great character building of Ranking of Kings. Before we begin I'd like to mention my Patreon, it's linked right at the top of the description. Times are tough, so if you can't give anything, a like and a comment and watching as much of the video as possible are excellent second bests, but if you do have a little spare cash and want to support myself, my family and the channels, you can do so in exchange for a warm fuzzy feeling and lots of, I think, nice rewards, and it would be greatly appreciated. Ranking of Kings was an anime actually voted in on my Patreon, and no this isn't another please join my Patreon, although you should because I love you, and originally I was going to create an anime sins version as well as a wins one, but then decided against it. Probably wouldn't be that funny I thought to myself, and in many ways I was right. I wouldn't have anything concrete to say looking back on it. I wouldn't be able to twist the scenes to poke fun, at least not in any way I'd personally have felt comfortable doing so. So I embarked on a mission to create two wins videos on it, and it wasn't long before I felt I was witnessing something truly spectacular. My takeaway from the anime and the main core element of this sinless video is for the anime's incredible take on character development. I want you to keep in mind as I talk about this, the anime is only 23 episodes long, and it does cover a lot of ground, and yet in many ways it easily felt as though I had witnessed development that normally transpires over the course of 100 or more episodes, and at the same time, and this is where it gets its accolades, it never felt rushed. Not even slightly. Characters make decisions not normally ever seen in anime. They think in ways not normally done. Outside of the cliches and tropes and tried and true methods of a formula seemingly perfected a long time ago. This creator thought outside of the box and had the characters do the same. To amazing results and that's by no means just a small aid to what allowed this show to really shine so bright. On top of the well deserved kudos for not rushing anything, a boon to be sure, but not something to write an entire script about. Okay, the pacing for character development was great, big whoop, is the main centre aspect of why this video exists in the first place. The growth of Boji, Kage and many of the main characters is some of the greatest I have ever witnessed. It really struck a chord with me. It stuck with me for days after finishing it and even now, more than two weeks out since completing it, I think back fondly and smile, astonished by just how insane it felt to really feel as though I was witnessing these people slowly turn from being one person to another, shaped and moulded by the horrific or sometimes beautiful events transpiring in their lives. The choices they made, the things they said to one another, I cannot express how impressed I was by it, and yet that's what I do for a living. Blending into the previously mentioned goodness and bolstering it is the final two side elements of what made it so good, and that has to be the voice acting and the story at large. Boji's voice actress, Minami Hinata, did a phenomenal job, and even as I think about it now I nearly tear up remembering some of my favourite parts. She was able to instil in him a self-belief unheard of by me from a character who couldn't even talk, yet she filled him with life at all times. It's a minor point compared to the meat of the video, but it bears reporting that it was the design of the characters themselves, not physically, but mentally and internally, that also obviously made this video possible to speak about their character development, as without the original author and designer of these characters, it ultimately amounts to nothing, obviously. This video also wouldn't be complete without showing some love towards Ayamu Murase, who voiced Kage, who himself went through some of the deepest changes I've been blessed enough to watch in any anime. He too totally took on the character, and for me as a result, they became an outstanding duo becoming stronger through true friendship and adversity like nothing else. Finally, on the second side element previously mentioned, that being the story itself, I have to give massive props once again to the author. Not only was it paced out as well as his characters were, but it also held together the entire narrative. Now that's logical of course, but I mean more along the lines of that it took the time to feed these all important moments time and again to actually give them the heavy weight they deserved in order to land the biggest punch on us the audience. You only have to look at The Promised Neverland Season 2 to understand how a rushed story can at the same time obliterate any attempt at character development. You can't have one without the other. You can of course have a great story without tremendously great character growth, and that's where Ranking of Kings soared above the rest for me. It did both. 
I strongly recommend that you pay absolutely no attention to the style of the animation. The animation itself, meaning the frame by frame action, is nothing short of gorgeous, and you'll do yourself a major disservice and miss out on one of the greatest anime to bless our screens and some of the most profound character development and real vivid growth to be written in many, many years. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Sinless. I very much hope you enjoyed it. As always, a like and a comment go a long way to helping me out, plus watching as much of the video as possible, and of course my Patreon is down there too if you wish to check it out and pledge to help me and keep me going and naturally i'll see you next time chris harris ted l inakami and water manuel morales marquez nick windham war keeper steelers the ever commander but without a word blitz kyle brandon crea game 2000 kieran robinson come kim munt magnus matthew casterline nathan burr sean ali 50 dark lord bloody soul Guru Guru, Isel Caldera, Your Edvinson, Jonas Stahl, Jordan Samuels, Jaffa6263, Kelnock, Kepan, Kevin Nalta, Conito, Luis Cruz, Matthew Blanchett, Matt the Marshmallow, 9028, Sentimento, Storm970, The Element Aylor Wars, 